I absolutely didn't uh, put myself in with this crew. It sounded like you were you wanted to jump the gun yesterday. Nope. Nope. I said I want to do my research, and I said what would have been bad is if it would have been a situation that I said. Yeah, I, but, I, I guess you played it nice. But, uh, you know, right, you I, played I, it I nice. will always do research. You played it nice. Yes. Uh, I, just a quick thing along the same lines. Did you know that scumbag church that protests soldiers' funerals? Oh, yeah. They disrupt them and just try to humiliate the soldier's family. God loves dead soldiers. And yeah. Fags. It's just their fucking homosexual obsession. Um, yeah. They were sued by one of the soldier's fathers. And he won. And then he was overturned in, uh, I guess, uh, appellate court or whatever it is. And for some reason, he has been ordered to pay the legal fill, uh, be, uh, <laughs> fees of the Westboro... Yeah, Baptist minister church. A dead soldier's father. father yeah, sixteen thousand dollars to Fred Phelps in legal fees. Has to pay because he sued. What? what? This fucking country stinks. What judge ruled that? Some fucking scumbag. I think federal judge. I don't. I don't know. I just. I read. I should have read oh, more of the story. Is that despicable? And they said in some cases it's standard. Standard. What a piece of shit legal system. If that. If that's. If that. If I'm getting the facts right, we really are a shit legal system. Wow, $16, that is... $16,000 this poor soldier's father has to pay. Hopefully that will be overturned. Oh, my but God. But for any judge to order that and not understand why this guy sued. Right. If, you, right. if you overturn the, the, the decision, fine. But to make this guy pay... The, they're all lawyers, these fucking people. Of course. They're all yeah. lawyers. Yeah, all of them are lawyers in that fucking kook group. That kook group. I think Fred Phelps was a lawyer. I believe he was disbarred. Uh, I just hope someday uh, they, you know, at least some of them get their just desserts and, yes. and whatever, you know, whatever may be, whatever's down the line for them um, is something uh, terrible. Uh, it would be, it would be uh, just a pleasure if that happened. Father must pay Westboro Baptist Church sixteen five. Yeah. Uh, that's, uh, that's unbelievable. That isn't even right. I would. It, they said such mandated reimbursements are common after appellate court cases. The U.S. Supreme Court has to hear Snyder's case. The decision will ultimately make a big difference as to whether or not he can eventually recoup that money. The the, the fact that uh, that they are making this guy pay that money is fucking reprehensible. What a, uh. what, a soldier goes over and gets killed. These people are not just peacefully protesting they're not just expressing their their first amendment right no. they are being intentionally despicable yeah uh yeah. during this guy's fucking funeral and again i i think as much as i hate them they do have the right to protest they have a right but there are certain things that you if you held up a sign it would be considered inciting and uh um hate crime uh which isn't protected under uh, the freedom of speech, obviously, if I held up a sign that uh, had racial uh, epithets on it outside, uh, I would be cited. Uh, you know, I'd probably be arrested for inciting a riot or um, hate crime. Unless you do what they what do, is that? Uh, what they do, and this is where they are just very hateable. Because again, they they, <gasps> they 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 despise the system, and yet they fucking obey every letter of the mm -hmm. law. You know, if they were real rebels, they would just show up with fucking signs. If they were really mavericks of of God or whatever, but they uh, they they know their rights. So they they uh, they put in for permits. They do everything legal. The signs in and of themselves and the chants are allowable. Seem to be, they seem to be um, l like you'd be able to sue and say this is inciting. It's just inciting. Um, wow. In a, I, in a way, I'm actually I, I don't I, I'm actually glad that uh, they are allowed to do that. But they, for him to be asked to pay the legal bills is is just fucking that's, despicable. That's it's disgusting. It's despicable. It's disgusting. Despicable. At the very least, you make sure that doesn't happen. I, th I think the people like that the are very good for fucking the least. Little kid holding a death penalty for fags. Sign. They're, they're terrible people. But they really, me, they're, they're a cult, and they're they're growing. Um, uh, and they cult members. Out of, something they're members. a cult. They're a complete cult. God I, blew up the shuttle. God hates America. God hates fag enablers. It's it's just childish. all held by seven year olds. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're just. But again, that to me, they in a way they make the country great because they are so despicable. Mm. But we allow them to say what they want to say. And, and Bill, uh, can only hope. Well, though. Bill in North Carolina doesn't yeah. understand mm. that. Bill, oh, little, little history know. lesson for you, my friend. Go ahead. Yeah, man, I understand freedom of speech, freedom to protest. But this is just absolutely sickening to me that yeah. the country allows uh, somebody just to degrade somebody at their funeral. I mean, at their son's funeral. I mean, that's just absolutely ridiculous. There should be 
some kind of respect uh, amendment in the uh, Constitution. Nah, we can't have that. Can't have a respect amendment. That's uh, there are there are these little. Dude, these are like little weird prices you pay for free speech. And I don't think when, when the Constitution was being drafted or, or conceptualized, I don't think they saw that someday there would be actual pigs mm-hmm. that would protest and try, not just protest the war, but try to intentionally antagonize the family of a dead soldier. I don't, I don't yeah. think they, they, anybody could have foreseen what slobs people were going to behave like. Dude, people, people just didn't act like that back then. And well, they had no slaves. Let's be honest; they weren't exactly terrific either. <laughs> yeah. They fucking kept they kept human <laughs> beings as property. <laughs> Fuck them too. Yeah, right. <laughs> they, always, they were worse. Yeah. <laughs> it was. I think it was worse. They were terrible. Yeah. They would whip a guy for not making them sweaters fast enough. Right. Like they were shit. <laughs> yeah. We've yeah. always had our issues in this country. This is still way over the top, man, and yeah. it is absolutely despicable, like you said. All right. Take care, man. Thank you, I sir. Yep. Yeah. Mm, wow. All right. And uh, we we got to acknowledge the, the rain here in the New York area. Uh, Holy crap. Just, yeah. It's the second day in a row of 100% rain. I, 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 you said it was like the movie 7 coming yeah, in like today. it's like being in the movie 7 where it's just complete. It's raining all the time. I can't stand it. It's just, uh, you, you walk outside and, uh. Yeah, but we're almost there. This would have been snow a month ago. Well, this weekend is supposed to just be lovely yeah, this here the, in the New York area. This temperature is going to turn around quickly for us. It's going to be like 80 this weekend, right? Oh, would that be lovely? Something like that. But in the meantime, um, yeah, it's pretty bad. People were asking me how my commute was um, uh, yesterday. Not bad at all. And uh, coming in, not bad. A little hydroplaning again. Which is kind of fun mm-hmm. if uh, there's no one else on the road. Because <laughs> your, your vehicle just, like, you'll turn the wheel around a curve and you'll just keep going straight until it finally <laughs> hooks up and, and then you're there. But you're like, wow, I can see how that could be really dangerous. That if, could uh, be a real problem. There's a car next to you or a mm-hmm. wall or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, that, uh, well, yeah, you got tons of vehicle here just ready to go wherever the fuck it wants. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, more importantly, I want to I want to say hi to all the people that are filling up their sandbags today. Yeah, we, we were just saw a story on, on on TV where these flood uh, these flood zones. Uh, yeah, in Jersey, there's a lot down there in Jersey. I guess they uh, they just put a dumpster. Yep. In neighborhoods that yeah. is filled with sand, and there's and then, then there's bags there too. There's a big pile of and, sandbags and, and a dumpster full of sand. And you're supposed to take your sandbags yeah. and, and fill them up with sand. And now if there's uh, flooding in your neighborhood... Isn't that and nice of you, the local yeah, government? You fill the sandbags. It's like they dumped it off and said, here, do it yourself. It's a do-it-yourself, uh, save your home type of thing it's happening. Like, you know, uh, what do you pay taxes for? Well, How about you pay- somebody supposed to be filling these sandbags and then... Putting them around fucking flood areas. Well, you pay your taxes so they could dump off a oh, thing great. of sand and a, and a bunch of bags. Isn't that wonderful? I don't even think they. I don't think they supplied the shovel. So if you don't have a shovel, that's good. I guess you got to use your hands to fill up your sandbags to save your home. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Uh, did I have to? Did I wonder if they had to file for a permit to put those fucking sandbags up and pay money oh, uh, and file for a permit to put the sandbags up? Oh, I'm sure they'll have uh, somebody going around after the after the threat finding is gone, people. finding people for not getting rid of their for not sandbags, rid of the sandbags that they had to fill up themselves. It's fi- it, it's just retarded. Yeah, it's called uh, Kevin from Connecticut. Build your own levee. Yeah, yeah, they're building their own levees down there in Jersey. Build your own levee. This yeah. this world is going insane. I'm with Jimmy. It is just not right. Yeah, nothing's working. Basic properly. fucking needs they can't do for the human being. You're not. You shouldn't have to fill up your own sandbags if there's oh. a if there's a flood threat. If you want to do a little extra to save your home, maybe get all your stuff on a on the second floor or whatever, up way above ground. Sure. Uh, but to, but to, to dump off a uh, basically a, a dumpster filled with sand and some bags that's just insane. Here, do it yourself. Look, look, there you go. They yeah. just showed the guy doing it. Yeah, do it yourself. One guy's like, well, I, I filled up 20. I, f- I filled up 20 sandbags. It worked out pretty well. One guy goes, I, I was able to fill up six before they ran out of sand, so I don't know what's going to happen when the high tides come. Oh, it snowed? Here's the plow and some keys. <laughs> do it yourself. <laughs> right. Plow your own streets. Right. What? New York State has run out of money. Okay, just run out of money. So do, do, do it, it's called the do-it-yourself state. I think they owe a lot of people money that they're finally going to, what, mail April 1st? Oh, are they? They had, a, they had a whole back money because they didn't have it. Yeah. That's good. 
We did our job. We paid our taxes. Yeah. And now uh, for all those people looking for a refund, they had to hold back money because they just didn't have it <laughs> until April 1st. That makes Thanks. sense. Thanks. That really makes sense in the year 2010, huh? <laughs> Uh, let's say hi to Mike in Boston. Mike, hey. Mike. Good morning, boys. Hey, man. Hello. Hey, here's a novel idea. How about we get all those motherfuckers on unemployment for over six months to fill those fucking sandbags? Well, I mean, why not? Do something. But uh, you know what? They don't have money to pay anyone to no, fill up the sandbags. It. They're on unemployment. We're already fucking paying them. What do you want? Ah, uh, that's a good all point. Right. Force them to... Give the National Guard something to do. Or make them do community service every week to make sure oh, they're that's not it. dealing drugs. Mm. Punch it out. All right. Them. Get some rapists out there to fill up the sandbags well, in your neighborhood. Speaking of that, Joe in Jersey, listen to this. Joe! Hey, what's going on? What Joe? do you say, Joe? Back in 07, they had the inmates come out from State County Prison and fill up the bags. Two weeks ago, when we flooded out again, we had over 12 feet of water.